Good morning. Today's question of the day comes from Dawn, and their question is, how long does fracking usually take? So it sounds like they have some wells that were producing, and now they're being told that they're shut in because of fracking delays. What this means is that the operator has some wells next door, and they're wanting to do some operations, and they determine that it's safer and more efficient and better for the reservoir to shut in the well while they're doing those things. The question is how long does it usually take to frack these wells? And the short answer is that it really depends. It depends on how many wells are being fracked, what type of wells are being fracked, what area you're in, how deep the wells are, how long the wells are. But generally to frack one well that's a modern horizontal well it takes about a week. But Sometimes there's several wells in the pad. A pad is when you have one surface location, about a half acre or so, and a pad is when you have multiple wells in that location. You can walk and touch a wellhead every you know, 10 to 50 feet or so. When they're working on one well, the other well is only about 50 feet away. And so for safety's sake, that well cannot be producing while there's 18 trucks and 30 people over you know, 50 feet away. So anytime they're working on one of those wells in this type of operation, usually all of the wells that have that share that surface location are shut in. That's just for everybody's safety. And then also it's best for the well. There's some downhole dynamics happening where you want as much pressure as possible downhole when you're fracking these wells. Fracking means you're pumping a whole bunch of pressure and a whole bunch of liquid and propping down the well bore and into the reservoir in order to just blast that rock apart because by blasting it apart, that's how you free the little molecules of oil from these little pores that are trapped before they're cracked. So you gotta crack the egg in order to get the yolk out, right? We're cracking a whole bunch of eggs down hole. And in order to do that, if you have any wells that are drawing pressure right next door to where you're pushing pressure, that's really counterproductive, right? It can cause a subpar frack. So it's in your best interest to have your well not producing while they're completing these wells next door. It'll help protect your well from water coming and flooding that well because water can sometimes damage older wells. Actually, it often damages older wells. You might see a dramatic drop in production. So it's in your best interest to have that well not producing. It creates a more complex fracture, which helps drain the reservoir more completely. And it's also much safer for the environment and for the people around because there's no chance of pressure going down one hole and back up the other hole on a well bore that may not be ready for that type of pressure. Typically, it's about one mile radius, about give or take a mile that operators will shut in wells around that well. That can include quite a bit of wells if you have a lot of wells being developed around you. Now also, some of these areas of the country like West Texas and New Mexico can have 20, 30 wells in a section and a section is one mile. So if we do our calculations of one frac takes about a week and you have 20 or 30 of these, that can take quite a long time. What can also happen is while you're fracking one of these wells, something could go wrong. And if something goes wrong, then you have to stop operations, bring in something to fix it if it's fixable. Oftentimes, if something goes wrong during fracking, you have to redrill the well if you're going to try to fix it at all. If everything goes as planned, it could take a month or two. And then if things really just go awry, it could take longer. If it's gonna take longer than a couple months to fix that well, maybe there's some delay, maybe there's some reason that they're deciding if they want to fix that well. Generally, you wouldn't keep all the wells shut in during that time. So if you have any questions on this, please give me an email, give me a shout. I'd love to help you with this. I'm a petroleum engineer and an owner of Pecan Tree Oil and Gas. We are a firm that specializes in helping mineral owners for appraisals, evaluations, deal evaluation, and to help you get a fair shot in the industry. If you have a question, please leave it below. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to hear more of these in the future. And also if you hit like on this video, that will let me know that you like this type of content and wanna see more of it. So thanks and have a great day.